Hello, today in Granny's Kitchen we're making lentil and vegetable soup. It may look like quite an expensive recipe but I'll explain what can be done as we go along. Hand washing. Hands will never be out of water when you're cooking in the kitchen. Three pints of water, I used to call it the recipe of three because you can actually double up this and make six pints if you wish. Normally three chicken fillets, but these are quite large, so I'm using two. A lump of ham, three callow cubes. I don't use anything else because callow uh, doesn't contain any monosodium glutamate. And then you've got three potatoes, three onions, about a pound and a half of carrots and one leek and one cup of red lentils. I'm just going to give them a good wash because the soup will actually be on for about two hours because of the size of the ham. So I've already put three pints of water into the pot. So I'm going to add in my big lump of ham. Once the ham is cooked, you can actually make about six gammon steaks from that piece of ham. And once the chicken is cooked, you can actually add some sweet and sour sauce to, to your chicken. So nothing goes to waste, but it will flavour the soup. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the heat now and start preparing the vegetables. Just top and tail the onion. I tend to run the water so I don't get tears. But basically, just top and tail, peel the outer skin off. While I'm preparing this veg, the three pints of water in the ham and the chicken is actually on the, the cooker. By the time this is all prepared, the water hopefully will be nearly at boiling. Topping and tailing the leek. Cut it into sections. Ooh. And then down the middle. So as you can open it right up to give it a, a good wash. It's the one veg I do cut up smaller because it goes a bit stringy in the soup. Sometimes you get bits that look a bit stringy, so if you chop it up a little bit finely. So basically the leek requires thorough washing. Just to separate all the bits out, make sure there's absolutely no grit. You can add other vegetables to the soup, but this recipe is fairly tried and tested. Okay, so my pot is beginning to Simmer away. Lentils as well require quite a lot of washing just to get all that starchiness away from them. Just wash them about four or five times. Right, and when it's nearly boiling, just add in the lentils and keep stirring until they move around the pot a bit because they, these are the things that will cause the soup to stick. Now with your vegetables, they don't need to be chopped too small. In fact, I only just quarter onions because they'll break up in the soup. This soup's going to be on about two hours because of the, the big ham that's inside. So that'll cook the lentils right down and all the vegetables. Potatoes as well, you just need to quarter them. You'll see how the pot is filling up nicely. With your carrots, these can be roughly cut into big chunks like this. So the pot's going to be quite full with our three pints of soup but the results are quite delicious. I might have to move it into my bigger pot. This is the only veg really that I do prepare quite small and I just use kitchen scissors to chop them up so they don't all go stringy in the soup. And although I mentioned that this might be quite an expensive soup, you will get quite a few meals from it. I tend to make soup when I'm making lots of other things when I do a batch cook. So I'm always in the kitchen just ready to stir every 10, 15 minutes or so. Lid on. So as soon as that comes to the boil, I'll turn it down to about two or three on my hob and leave it for two hours. That's doing away nicely. Okay, now after your soup has been cooking about two hours, you can remove the two chicken breasts and also the big lump of ham. Just mash up those vegetables, especially the carrots. Just mash them up to break them up before you do your final liquidising. I mean, you don't need to liquidise it if you prefer a chunkier soup. 
because obviously the masher will break up the vegetables quite well. If you're using, say, a smoked ham, you wouldn't need to add any extra seasoning. So once the soup is ready, it's nice and smooth because I've been liquidised. In its present form, it's an ideal slimming world. All the vegetables are free, the ham, chicken's all free.